What's happening, guys? This is the Grand Master of Faster, and welcome back to Let's Play Pikmin. In this episode, we're going to travel to the new region that we just unlocked. Welcome to the Distant Spring. My favorite area in the entire game. As you can see, water and enemies everywhere. This place is tough. And there are a grand total of 10 ship parts here. So yeah, you're going to be uh, spending a lot of time in the distant spring. And make sure you've got a lot of blues. In fact, I'm going to be taking out 75 of them. That might seem like overkill, but I am not exactly brimming with confidence going into this area. Uh, first things first, let's see if we can flower some of these guys up. There are uh, quite a few grass patches and rocks here, so it's very easy to uh, flower your Pikmin. And of course I say that and not a single spot of nectar appeared. That's unfortunate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw, oh, let's say about uh, 25 Pikmin up on this ledge. Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to leave them there for now. But uh, we'll want to head right over here to where this bridge is. Oh god, Shearwigs. Well, believe it or not, things aren't that bad because one thing you should know about shearwigs is that they get weaker in the water forcing them to retreat to the air so they're much easier to deal with in this area than they are others a little bit of reprieve i'm not sure if that's the uh i don't think that's the case in the uh, uh second game because uh well well i actually haven't tested it believe it or not so i'm curious to see if it if it does work in the second game. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. All three have been taken care of, so let's get to work on this bridge. And oh, God, I forgot about him. We'll get to him later. While the blues are... While those blues are working on the bridge, let's come over here to where these blues are on the ledge. Now, we want to stand right here, and we want to whistle them towards us. And using your... C stick, you need to direct them across because waiting on the other side is a ship part. Okay, come on, a little bit more. Why are you guys moving slower than the molasses in January? And why are you moving back? You guys are idiots. Okay, I shouldn't be that cruel to the blue Pikmin. They have helped us, so I'm going to lay off the insults. For now. And, oh wow, I have exactly enough. That's surprising. I found the repair type bolt. This robotic marvel can fix just about anything in the ship that's broken. That's good, because I get terribly bored fixing little glitches. Oh, I was lucky there. Sometimes when the repair type bolt falls down, your Pikmin scatter. And you have to, um throw them back up to uh, get them to carry the ship part. How are you guys doing? You guys are almost done, which is nice. Of course, once they finish the bridge, we'll have this guy to deal with. We'll get to him later. I still can't believe that not a single drop of nectar was, was found in those grassy patches. That's frustrating. Uh... I'm going to uh, shoot for two parts in this video, and I'm going to uh, devote the rest of the video to uh, destroying some walls. Okay, good. You guys finished the bridge. And now for the main event. Not really, but, it might, but I think it might be considered one. New enemy, the Yellow Wallywog. They are just as tough as regular Wallywogs and just as irritating. But first... Repair Type Bolt. This looks like an ordinary bolt, but it is actually a repair robot. 
Okay, first we need to get the right camera perspective, because camera perspective helps when dealing with yellow wallywogs. Uh, in terms of attack, they function exactly the same. And how did that Pikmin not get killed? That was pretty stunning. I do think they have slightly more health than uh, regular Wallywogs, but I think they can jump farther. Also, it seems to me that they jump, that they move when they jump a little bit more often than regular Wallywogs do. Uh, in that respect, they are tougher. But honestly, you need to use the same strategy as you used with regular Wallywogs. And this guy is just about done. And, and am I actually not going to get any deaths on him? I wonder. Holy cow! I did not expect that at all. Uh, all right, we're not going to bring back those pellets. Uh, the first thing we want to do is get back the blues that carried the repair type bolt. You know, now that I've been thinking, what would the repair type, what does the repair type bolt look like when it's a robot? I wonder if there are any deviant art sketches of that. And think of how convenient it would be to have a repair type bolt in your household. Wouldn't it be nice to have a robot focusing on the menial tasks while you can focus on the more important stuff? I'm getting ahead of myself. All right. Another new enemy. This guy is the Spotty Bull Bear. He functions much like a regular, much like a Spotty Bull Board, except it's a lot tougher and a lot meaner. But the same strategy applies, Bum Rush. And as you can see, it's quite a bit more durable. Oh my god! He missed! He, lur he lurched forward to try to eat a Pikmin, and he missed. Also, those red eyes creep me out. But it's good that we took care of the spotty bull bear because I found my massage machine. Put this right down in the lower back area and let it go to work. I can't wait until I get it installed again, as my lower lumbar region has been paining me ever since the crash. Ah, sweet relief. And it's going to take 30 Pikmin. We've got more than enough. The massage machine is an optional ship part, the third that we have encountered. Uh, yeah, considering the efforts you have to get to get it, it's kind of a kick in the pants, but it's another step towards 100% completion. And now that the massage machine is being carried back, I think we're safe carrying this uh, wa yellow Wallywog as well as the uh, blue five pellet. And no, if, in case you were wondering, yellow yellow Pikmin do not produce. Yeah, yellow Wallywogs do not produce more yellow Pikmin. <laughs> Just because that that uh, concept works with pellets does not mean it will work with enemies. Unfortunately, you're not really going to be seeing much of either the red or the yellows. Well, that's not quite true. We're going to use some of the yellows to destroy uh, the stone walls. All right. Massage machine. I've been walking so much lately. I'm really looking forward to using this. Now, there is one more ship part I could get, but um, it's kind of far away, and honestly... I don't think I'm going to go out of my way to get it due to how much time I have remaining. Because recovering those two ship parts took a little bit more time than I thought. So after I pluck these blues, I'm going to grab some yellows. Because I want to destroy uh, some of the uh, stone walls here. As that's going to save me some time later on. And yeah, 12 is going to be more than enough. So once you have the yellows, you'll want to uh, walk back across the bridge to where these skulls are. Because inside these skulls, there are some bomb rocks. I don't know about you, but these skulls always creeped me out whenever I played this game. It made me wonder what they used to be when they were living, so to speak. 
Perhaps it was just some sort of giant Pikmin devouring monster. Although, who am I kidding? Every creature in the game is like this. Devouring Pikmin on sight. Okay, enough of that. We've got... Jack, was that you? Did you trip again? I don't even know why I bother bringing him along at all. Because he has caused nothing but trouble to me. We're going to go right over to this stone wall here. And we're going to break it down. Okay. Come on. There we go. Six. I believe this one takes nine. And I don't have enough. No matter. There is another area where we can get some more bomb rocks. Unfortunately, it's near where these uh, spotty bull bears are. Yeah, just be thankful they don't uh, function as they do in Pikmin 2, thank God. And, oh! Dang, dang, where did you guys come from? Alright, we're going to be uh, encountering you sooner than I expected. You see those green flying things? They are yet another new enemy. Swooping snitch bugs. These guys are annoying. They are very annoying. Um, like their name suggests, the swooping snitch bugs swoop down and grab your Pikmin, but they do not eat them. Instead, uh, they will they will throw them down and plant them. Uh, it's they're honestly more annoyances than they are threat. They're more annoying than they are threatening. Okay. Let's, uh, deal with you guys so you won't get in our way again. Okay, come on, come on, come on! Ugh. Also, they have an annoying tendency to shake off any Pikmin that, uh, come near them. Ah, there we go! But if you're lucky, they'll fall down and then you can swarm them. Like so. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to encounter them this, uh, in this video, because usually they're on the other side of the distant spring. Okay. I just wondered, did they plant anything? Did they plant any of our Pikmin? I believe they did. Uh, right over... Come on, where are you guys? There you are! Anyway, with that annoying interlude taken care of, let's get back to what I was trying to work on. Uh, we want to go right over here and make sure to not touch the spotty bull bear, or spotty bull bear. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to get enemy names mixed up again. Oh, I guess I must have gotten all of the uh, bomb rocks here. Then we need to make our way back to the wall that we were breaking down earlier. And wow, it's almost sunset. This day went by really quickly. I think one more bomb rock should do it. And indeed it does. Unfortunately, I think the other wall that I wanted to destroy will uh, take six bomb rocks rather than three. But uh, only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and... Uh-oh. First of all, we'll get away from that guy. So let's throw... Times three. I said throw times three, not times two. You slacker. That can't be Jack, because Jack didn't have a bomb rock when he, he, when he tripped. So you're off the hook for now, Jack. For now. But you're on probation. Oh, wow. Almost sundown already. Uh, oh, right. Hey, what are you guys doing back there? Slackers. Okay, today wasn't as productive as I would, as I had hoped it would be, as we did have some interruptions, but we did get two ship parts back. So, uh, I think today is successful. It just seemed a little shorter to me. I don't know. Maybe the, uh, actual real-world time is different depending on what area you're in. But we've got all 100 Pikmin... 
And, uh, yeah. We're gonna go to sunset. Although, we might not. We might as well not, since I only have seven seconds. And, yes, we can wait seven seconds. Alright. Two and one. So that was it for day seven. Honestly, not a very eventful day. But, uh, we did do some things. I have a feeling that uh, day eight's going to be a little bit more productive, though. But look on the bright side. At least we didn't lose any Pikmin. Or at least I don't think we did. And I know we didn't leave any behind because I had all 100 with me. And I'm still annoyed that that grass patch did not give me any nectar. Seven days since impact. There appears to be a large cluster of parts here. If my calculations are correct, then I should be able to recover virtually all of my missing ship parts. But not quite all of them. Unfortunately, there still seem to be some pieces that remain unaccounted for. I must find 14 more parts to further increase the dolphin's range. So we sprouted 13 Pikmin altogether, all of them blues. And <laughs> I just noticed we have 100 yellow Pikmin and 101 blue Pikmin. Exact, exactly a one Pikmin difference between the two types. That's pretty funny. We have 15 ship parts, exactly half of our, to of our required total. But believe it or not, we won't be going back to the distant spring in the next video. Instead, we're going to head back to the impact site. Because now that we have blues on our side, we can get the other ship part there. Once again, please be sure to leave a like or comment below and subscribe to my channel. Every one of those really helps. See you guys next time. Hey, did you like what you saw? Then be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for updates on my videos. Also, do you want to record LP videos like me? Then check out my kit page for my go-to equipment for recording.